I would also note that it would be worth thinking about uh, how the United States can support Japan's development of security relationships where the United States is not the key node of that relationship. There's often a temptation for the United States to view itself as the convener, uh, as the node of a set of bilateral relationships. Uh, I think it would be interesting to think about how, as uh, countries in the region, including Japan, diversify their security relationships, how the United States uh, can support that uh, and, and strengthen those relationships in ways that contribute to regional security, again, without the United States needing to be uh, the center point of that relationship or for those relationships to be uh, a clear extension of the U.S.-Japan alliance. Uh, I think this, has, uh, this particular point has uh, at least two strategic advantages, one being that a more diversified set of uh, strategic partners in the region complicate the decision-making of potential adversaries. It makes them more difficult, more complicated for them to think about what a potential conflict would look like, which I think has a stabilizing and moderating effect. Uh, and second of all, uh, Japan's pursuit of more diverse security relations in the region also has an ancillary effect of taking heat out of the U.S.-China relationship, I think, in a very important way, that if Japan is able to call upon a more diverse set of relationships that doesn't implicate the U.S.-Japan alliance directly, then it means that disputes between Japan and China are not necessarily just about the role and the commitment of the United States. And I think that has important implications for uh, all sorts of dimensions of, of crisis and conflict management. 